All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be showcasing the brand new free to play LR Goku Black at rainbow status before he gets his eventual Extreme Z Awakening on global during part three of the five year anniversary. Now the reason we're not waiting for part three and just doing a showcase now is because a lot of people have been asking me if this dude is any good without his easy A or is he just kind of like garbage for the time being. So that is exactly what we are here to find out in today's video. But before we jump into the gameplay, I do want to give a quick shout out to my friends over at Pain Shop on Twitter for hooking me up with some very generous prices on my Dragonstones. If you guys are looking to save yourselves a decent amount of money on your next Dragonstone purchase, then make sure to hit him up on Twitter. Link in my description down below. And exciting news, for my JP players out there, they recently started accepting orders for JP Dokkan as well. Alright, so with all that said, let's jump into this showcase and see what this dude can do once again without his Extreme C Awakening. Okay, so first turn we're linked with the AGL Rosé as well as the Fizz Trunks. And I'm actually going to let Rosé super first because what you want to do is allow the Goku Black to get the final blow or a kill shot so that he gets additional boost on his passive. I'll read it to you guys in a second, but hopefully it happens here because like the timing is a bit tricky. Sometimes you come really close and it's super annoying. Oh, okay, that was good. Okay, first super, 2.42 mil from the LR Goku Black. If you crit here, he's dead or no crit, he's still dead. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yo, it's so hard to get that final blow on the first turn and we got it. Okay, so the reason I'm so excited, I'll show you guys right now, is his passive gives him an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each final blow delivered, which is basically when you kill the enemy, right? On top of that, he gets attack and defense plus 50%, key plus one with each attack received up to five, which is amazing. And he also launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. And you see that you're like, yo, that's dope. And then you see that it says when facing two or more enemies. So that's kind of the main thing that turns me off a little bit about this LR. Um, everything about his passive is great. He does good damage. He, you know, has good stats. He has good super attacks, all that stuff. You know, he's like a really good unit. But that one part, all right, that one part about how you have to face two or more enemies for the additional attack it really sucks because if you think about it, most of the events in the game, especially the harder ones, you're only facing one enemy. I would say like maybe 80% of the events, there's only one enemy. So most of the time, you're not going to be able to activate that part of his passive. And maybe it was like a way to kind of balance him because if that like that part, you know, the two or more enemies part was not there, he might have been too busted. I don't really know, but... It just kind of sucks, you know, like the only hard event in this game where you're consistently getting two or more enemies would be like Super Battle Road, right? And I thought about doing a showcase on Super Battle Road, honestly, but the reason I didn't is because with Super Battle Road, in order to, you know, actually survive, um, at least like for most teams, you do have to use some items here and there. And when it comes to showcases, I just don't like using items because it throws off the numbers, right? The attack numbers, the defense numbers, all that stuff. So it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Okay, so we weren't able to get the 18 key super. Yes, okay, we killed him still. That's the second final blow. So just one more final blow and he'll have his full passive activated. That full additional 50%, which is actually more than 50% because of the way it's calculated. But I'm not going to get into that because I'm actually not very good with the calculations. I'll just be straight up. Like, I'm not very good at calculating damage numbers. So we're not going to get into that here. But the next turn, if we can get a full 24 key super or somewhere close, he should be doing much more damage than he did the last two turns. Okay? So yeah, like I said, guys, he is better with the EZA. But as you can see, man, he's actually no slouch before the EZA. He's definitely a very good free to play unit, even if he didn't get that Extreme Z Awakening. I think a lot of people still would have been perfectly happy with what he is. And uh, with the Extreme Z Awakening, he basically becomes one of 
the best free-to-play units in the game. I'm not really sure where he, where he would rank among like some of those uh, Battlefield LRs, but he's definitely competitive. You know, he's definitely like up there in the upper tier of free-to-play units. Oh, by the way, quick self-plug. <laughs> While I have your attention, quick self-plug. Um, if you guys are newer players or maybe veteran players that need a bit of a refresher, I did make a guide about how you can fully max out this LR Goku Black from Super Attack 1 to Super Attack 25 with the Extreme Z Awakening without using any Kai's. All right, so if you guys need that guide, yo, two point, almost three mil right here. That's dope. No additional, ah, no additional, that would have been so nice. Um, yeah, if you guys need that guide, to you know, get him fully maxed out without using any Kai's, especially when part three comes around, then make sure to check out that video. The guide will be somewhere above my head. I think over here, the link will be over there. So over, it's so hard to point with like the camera flipped, um, you know, somewhere above my, above my head, you guys can see it. So go check it out. Hopefully it helps. Quick self plug, it's over now. Okay, we're good. So we didn't get the final blow there, so we still need one more final blow to actually max his passive. And in order to do that, we have to ensure that the Trunkses hit hard, do good damage, but not too much damage. But also not too little damage. And this is this is also part of the reason why I like this guy's a little bit annoying to use, because if you really want to get the most out of him, you have to put in some work. You really do. Like, you have to time the final blows properly so that he's the one to deliver them and uh, it just doesn't always work out the way you want it to you know but at the end of the day I think he's still a fantastic unit I still really enjoy using him it's just yeah he, he can be a little bit tricky sometimes which I don't love and like next turn we're gonna have the merge Zamasu on rotation right and I'm like do I let the merge Zamasu super first but what if merge Zamasu crits and then kills the Goku like that would suck yeah, I mean, I don't think Goku Black's gonna be able to kill him though if we don't crit, so... I'll let, I'll let Zamasu super first, and then just pray, just pray that he doesn't crit and straight up kill Goku. It, 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 there's a very good chance it's gonna happen though. Let's see. Let's see. Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, <gasps> thank you! Oh, yo, we got blessed. We got blessed. 3.64 mil! Oh my god! Really? He actually... Yo, talk about a roller coaster of emotions, man. I thought we were like set. I was like, yo, we, we got this. He only has this much HP left. We'll kill him straight up, right? 3.6 mil for the super. There's no way we don't kill him. I think he has to survive that. Oh man, that, that really sucks. That that's That's painful. Okay, so on this turn, I'm gonna pop the Princess Snake because I don't actually trust Rosé to um survive a super like i honestly don't like he, he he's good right after he takes a few hits but before he takes those hits he, he's he's like a freaking wet blank uh what, what's the right analogy um he's a peach no because they bruise easily i don't know but like whatever doesn't take hits very well that's him right now look at that forty nine thousand defense he needs to take at least like three four hits to actually become you know somewhat good defensively and you know what, we got supered here, so I think that was a good call. I'm gonna say that that was a definitely a good call on my part right there. All right, so let's try to get the final blow on this Super Saiyan God Goku if we can. And then we're probably gonna cut the showcase off at the Super Saiyan Blue Goku after, just because there's like not really too much point in continuing after that. Um, I mean, you guys saw 3.64 mil. Once again, this is before the Extreme Z Awakening. After Extreme Z Awakening, he gets even bigger boost on his passive. He gets better super attacks, um, at least like the stat boost on super attacks. And uh, he also, oh, what else? He also gets a better leader skill. He gets more super attack. Did I say that already? It goes from 20, 20 to 25 as the max super like attack level. And obviously that makes a big difference. Um, yeah, he's really good. He's really, really good. Uh, let's see. Okay, so defense is up to 117,000, which is quite solid without um, an additional support. Obviously, we have some support here from the Zamasu, who gives 50% defense to Extreme Realm of Gods. 
but we don't have the extra support. So that's actually pretty good. 117,000, I like that. I'm actually not too scared for him. Who I am, who I am scared for is Tech Murzamasu. Because he very likely could get us killed here. So should I pop an item or should I just... I'm going to save. You know what? We recently got supered. What are the chances we're going to get supered on the first turn again? It's going to happen, isn't it? It's going to happen. It always does, man. It always, always does. Okay, we got we to gotta pray that things go well again. Fingers crossed. Let's... Good. Wow. Oh my god. Yo. <laughs> That's not a good time. <laughs> Okay, so at least this dude's doing well. Yeah, look look at that tanking, man. That that's some very good tanking right there. Double digits, no items, double digits. So defensively, he can be really good, but you got to be careful with him in the beginning of events before he gets those final blows. Um, without supports, I think he's only getting around 50 to 60k, like 60k defense or so. So be very careful about that. Uh, let me see here. So I'm gonna pop a princess snake again. Oh, nope, 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 not Aider. Princess Snake. And... You probably can actually leave him alive with like a sliver. Oh, crap. Uh, Dokkan attack? No. Thank you. Okay, no Dokkan attack. So there's still a chance that Godku will stay alive. And then we get Uncle Black to deliver the final blow. And then we're good to go. Now just nobody crit. All right, just 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 don't crit, and we'll be fine. For once, just don't do a lot of damage, man. Usually I want the damage, not right now though. Okay, everybody's it's it's going well. This is good. This is good. This is perfect. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. So. Let's give these to him. That's a full 20, oh, well, not 24 actually, but 23 key. And he's gonna get the token attack too. So this is gonna be good damage here. All right, let me focus, let me focus. So attack is 3.2 mil. Pay attention to the stat at the bottom there. Oh crap, I missed one. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. All right, everything was going so well. We're just gonna pretend that that did not happen. Okay, cool. Cool. That's good with me. All right, but attack was 3.2 mil. Dokkan attack, we're going to hit for 4.2. Talk about overkill. 4.25 <laughs> on the crit right there. Yeah. Um, easy trash. Easy trash before the EZA. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say he's very, very good still, even without the EZA. What do you, you know, is, he, is he giving me better with the EZA? Obviously, right? And I guess the only thing to take away here is if he's already this good before the EZA, then imagine how good he's going to be with the EZA. I'm super excited, guys. I'm super excited. This was definitely a free-to-play LR that didn't need an Extreme Z Awakening, all, like all things considered, right? And he's actually not even at his full potential here. If you think about it, right, he could still get um the additional super attack right on his passive or the additional attack with a medium chance of becoming a super attack it's just we're not facing two enemies but if you're doing a stage where there's two or more enemies then he becomes even better um so yeah, i like him a lot man i like him a lot as much as i just complained in this video as much as i said like yo it's kind of annoying i have to try to get him the the final blow every time you know when it when it works well when things go in your favor uh he's fantastic so yeah this is pretty much gonna be the showcase guys I'm going to do one more attack here with the LR Goku Black. And then we are going to call it a day. I mean, it's not going to get much better than this. It's really not going to get much better than this. Uh, let's see. So actually, what if I put him in the middle like this? He would get no extra key, Ash. Oh, it doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Oh, he get one extra key, wouldn't he? It's one extra key. Um. Hmm. Nah, it's fine. Okay, I'll put I'll, I'll put him there. I'll give him five key orbs. He is gonna get one extra key from uh, getting hit by Goku, and that's it. Yeah. So we only took fourteen k there, three point four five mil. 
on the super and not doing a ton of damage there there's the additional not a ton of damage there either but uh, as you can see he actually gets quite a bit more tanky too after he supers because he raises defense on his super attack once he gets an extreme z awakening he raises attack and defense so yeah i can't wait for the easy eight guys only nine days to go if you're watching if you're watching this video the day it comes out if you're watching this video a little bit later then obviously it's going to be less time if you're watching this after part three starts then you can go do it right now and once again full guide on my channel link in well i mean i guess i guess I can't put it again but you can find it on the channel go check it out how are we still alive like we should be super super dead right now <laughs> hold up uh i guess i'll pop an aider yeah what if we can get him the final blow on the next turn unlikely actually but a possibility yeah yeah uh well you know what let me see what happens let me see what happens because i don't i don't want to ruin the opportunity for like a really good turn right so if we kill this goku here and we're gonna be done you know we're gonna call it a day but if we so oh no he's dead oh he's super dead okay guys thank you so much for watching the video hope you guys enjoyed the showcase uh free to play str lr goku black at rainbow status 100 in the hidden potential system um pre, pre eza i forgot what we we're doing here for a second i was like what was the purpose of the showcase again pre eza that was the point and uh, hopefully with it, for anybody that had you know questions about how good he was without the extreme z awakening uh, those questions have been answered. Defense, 216,000 defense, man. 216,000. That's really good. That's very impressive. Like, we shouldn't we shouldn't actually take that much damage here. Unless it's a super attack. Yeah, look. Double digits all the way through. I used an item, didn't I? I used an aider. Wait, is the aider still active? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the Aider is still active. Well, you know what? Let's just say the video is over. There's no point in figuring it out. We're probably going to die, actually, once the Trunks takes a takes a hit here. Yeah, yeah, we're dead. We're super dead. Guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. Uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely um hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out